But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran is mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet That's tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Um, I wasn't actually going to go live, you know, because uh, we don't have really too much action in, in lately. Uh, not too many people sharing our channel. Thank you very much for not doing that and not too many people doing their job. Uh, so sometimes I wonder if I should go live or not. Hmm. But I will do it. Uh, it's just to make a point and those who care they will share our broadcast and those who don't care they don't care anyway uh, YouTube recommended a video for me and I have actually the link is down in the info for the video and this is a Muslim uh, channel uh, in this channel this is a sheikh very well known sheikh in Saudi Arabia he is warning he been asked about uh, Uthman ibn Farouk in California. So uh, they ask him, what do you think about this person? And obviously Uthman ibn Farouk, if you go back to, uh, you know, he was last year, I think, in Saudi Arabia, last winter. So if you go to Saudi Arabia, mostly he is going to be arrested. Uh, or in the best scenario, he will be questioned, if not arrested. In the video here, I, I cannot play the whole thing because you know we don't want people to uh, claim copyright. Uh, you can watch the video later by yourself, and they have a good collection of uh, things. Actually, the video is not only against uh, uh, Uthman ibn Farouk; it's against Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa and all those little cats. Uh, here, when they ask him the question, he said. <laughs> الذي هو في كاليفورنيا سان دييغو وقد سئلت عنه مرارا وتكرارا وكنت أرجئ الكلام فيه حتى أقف على كلامه لأنه لا right you can go watch the video the rest of it by yourself and you will see he is speaking about him that this person is uh, he, he's warning people about him he is not telling the truth and uh, he said uh, when they asked me i do not know much about him i never heard of him so i decided to go and check him out to see what this guy teach and what he is about and he said it's not right to give an opinion about someone i don't know so uh, uh, uh he said uh, it's not for us it's uh, pr permissible for us to speak about an individual without we uh, praise or criticize him uh, regardless uh, expect uh, accept with the clear proof and then he go and he check the videos and he come with the conclusion that this guy obviously is a, is a, is a munafiq you know he is warning people munafiq in arabic is somebody is a hypocrite which means he have no religion really you know like he changed his uh, his side from it's like a lizard when he changes color you know 
when he is over a green grass, he's green. He's over a brown rock, he's brown. So he is warning about him. And the whole video actually is not only about Uthman ibn Farooq, but most of it is about him and those who they are considered like him. And then later we will find that even there is Mimi Hijab there and a bunch of Abdul, they are exposing this video too. لا يجوز أن نتكلم في شخص سواء كان مدحا أو قدحا إلا ببين. Let us go. And now he he showed you people who they are in his kind, and those are not valid Muslims, and they are not true Muslims. You know, those are the kind he is speaking with, and those are his associate. And in the video they have a, like a screenshot of a videos and some time, uh, some shortcut of videos. He said he praises the heads of people of innovation, such as he praised Abu Abdul Aziz at uh, at Turafi, uh, and he is a muhaddith. Muhaddith or muhaddith? You see, the the YouTube is not allowing me to read the word. Let us play it. Kathanaihi. Muhaddith. Ala. Muhaddith is the one who come with things is not Islamic, you know, like something uh, they want to change, you know, there's the the old Islam is not fit no more, so we have to change it. It's like when you say, well, the sunset and murky water, and this is what the people believe in the time of the Prophet, but if we say to people today that the sunset and murky water, people will laugh at us. Or when you say uh, breastfeeding for adult, you know. Uh, you want to tell people now that Allah, he sent the verses, it says breastfeeding for adult. So we have to lie and say, well, it's not breastfeeding for adult, really. It was drinking milk. Yeah, it was drinking milk. And uh, uh, the hadith about it is fabricated. Abdul Aziz al-Tarafi, and yeah, muhaddith is supposedly someone who repaired the hadith, but uh, 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 but he is, uh, you know, he fabricates his own way. As all of them actually, all of them do the same. Anyway, uh, and here if you go, they give you an example. Uthman ibn Farooq exposes his manhaj. Manhaj is like a way, raising takfiri, khariji, like Sulaiman al Wan. Abdul Aziz al -Turafi. those are wanted by the Saudi and they are actually on jail. They're already in jail. They are terrorists. So this guy, he is praising them, you know, and he is saying they are amazing. They are, they are great. Those are terrorists wanted by USA and wanted by the Saudi Arabia and actually they arrested them. They are already in jail. Imma and ulema in other countries around the world, in Saudi Arabia, uh, Sheikh Abdulaziz al Tarifi and Sheikh uh, Salman al Wan and others. There are many, many scholars of hadith. And, but, but, so you know, Uthman ibn Affan, now he would have a lot of pain in his butt for he is speaking of things. This guy is an idiot. Like, you remember when he said, There's many messiah. Let us see now. Uh, when Muslims they contact uh, the real sheikhs and they ask them, "Is there is many Messiah?" I want the Muslims actually to go and ask the real sheikhs, "Is it true that there is many Messiah in Islam?" This because this is what he's teaching. So this guy is actually is creating a new religion, and this is why uh, those people are really important for us because they can help us really to uh, to 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 make us Islam collapse fast. A Muslim, he listens to those people, he will be confused. What many, many Christ in Islam since when? What is that? You know? And then some they will believe and some they will go against, and that will divide them more. And, you know, the division of Islam is part of Islam. It's, this is how it is. It's false cult. You know? They are very much divided about even simple things, like there's one Messiah or many Messiah. Imagine this guy, he go and he speak to Christians, says there's many Messiah. Muhammad was a Messiah. So imagine you say to a Muslim, Muhammad was a Messiah, and then a Muslim, he believe in that. So now we are creating a new Islam. So those people are very important for us. They think they are fighting really for Islam, but the fact they are making Islam collapse faster. Uh, this is why I'm really happy to see uh, uh, Muslims watching their videos because Islam now is changing to different belief, which is a stupid belief, you know, very confusing, more, way more confusing than it was before. And, you know, 
uh, look like this uh, the, the destiny of this or this cult that every few years there is more confusion added to the previous confusion to the point the belief today is nothing but a confusion period and this is why you are seeing those Muhammad and they are fighting when you see somebody saying uh, this sheikh is a liar and he, what, what he is lying about exactly you know uh, well he is trying to change Islam but the one who is in TV there he is trying to change Islam too and the one before him he tried to change Islam too all of them every Muslim sheikh and every Muslim who call themselves scholar they try to change Islam to make it fit with the today whatever today is was a thousand years ago or today is today or today is tomorrow and then uh, focus with me my friend from India don't give me a question have nothing to do with my topic after mentioning at Toraifi and Alwan is a in, a in a good light is really calling to them is not it sufficient except of he free him, frees himself from them and mention what the scholars say about them especially knowing that a lot of his followers already support Abdul Aziz at Toraifi as does one of his com, uh, com, uh, companions whose his video are uploaded in his channel his name is Asim Al Hakim they are playing the voice sound very fast and here I mean the video is really a collection of crazy stuff about Uthman and then they keep moving exposing him uh, about uh, uh, things he say uh, again there is a part of video with David Wood here in this video and now they go back to the Sheikh he says likewise he prays Abu Ishaq al Hawaini. Abu Ishaq al Hawaini is a, is a joker this guy is the monkey of the, of the town and uh, he say things he denied them second day the second the police call him they say I did not say <laughs> and Uthman ibn Farooq he said to him next to him and when uh, uh, al Hawaini he gave him the microphone uh, uh, Uthman he said well it's like giving a candy to a, a, a kindergarten uh, uh, boy like you know he described him he humiliate himself in the front of this idiot who is nobody he is not even a sheikh you know, so Uthman ibn Farooq he called Al Hawaini as a sheikh when this guy is a very shaky sheikh. <laughs> this is the sheikh of night clubs. So uh, he called himself like he is just a kid like him to honor him. Like, you know, they, they, they are really munafiqeen, they are really hypocrite who praise somebody. So later, this buddy, he will praise them too. You know what I mean? Like, it's a change of benefit. So this guy, he have many followers too. Uthman, he don't. So I will praise him. And then he will praise me in return, and then I will get the same support. Bingo. So look. Adaha Abi Ishaq al Huayni, wa qala Sheikh al Kabir, Azim. I am not. I am not. Relax. He said he is a great scholar. He is a great Sheikh. Azim. Nothing like Azim. It's like the from the greatest. You know, Azim. One of the names of Allah. He gave to a Sheikh. So Al Hawaini is a great, a great scholar. <laughs> Got you, bro. I did not even write a book of tafsir, so obviously, I appreciate the compliment, David, but it is not true. Ibn Kathir, I'm a nobody. But there is a great scholar, Abu Saq Al Hawaini, for example. Uh, a great scholar, Al Hawaini, as an example. I mean, this guy, I mean, unbelievable. This guy is a joke. Al Hawaini, I will question between my two pinky fingers. What an idiot. And you know, when you say Ashaq al Hawaini, Abu Ishaq al Hawaini, Tafsir, this guy he have a Tafsir since when? His Tafsir is accepted by who? As an example, This guy, he don't have a tafsir really. He, he, he used tafsir Ibn Kathir to play with it. Uh, let us see if I can find you some of his tafsir so we can laugh.
you don't even have a, like for a, a real book to consider. Uh, let us see, hold on. His book is uh, a 2010. <laughs> Suddenly the Muslim, they have a new scholar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's see if I can find. Uh, This is a joker. This guy is a joker. Um, I need to find uh, uh, where I can uh, like open his book so we can show you some stupid things about this guy. Uh, but this 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 guy is like a. Is a stand comedy for Muslims. He is a joker. Nobody even taking seriously. Uh, let us see. Maybe later I will try to find more. And now this is here, this guy, he is quoting al Huwini. And this guy here continue, you know, mocking Ibn Farouk, so showing him that he is stupid, he does not know what he's talking about, and he should repent. And then here they say is, Shaykh Salih Al-Fawzan. So he speak about Al-Fawzan too. I mean, this is the, all the, 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 the collection of the garbage you can imagine. We do not pass the judgment upon him that he has made it, uh, made it lawful. Just because he is, okay, continue upon major sin. I don't know what the, the topic is. I did not play it. Let us see what we go back a little bit. Uh, no, my brother, it's not ruled upon. It is unlawful. Yeah, this is here talking about a fatwa of those they call them takfiriyin. Those are like Al Qaeda and ISIS. So now Uthman, I mean, this Uthman is really funny. He is the catch-up boy. In the same time, he support Al Qaeda and and the ISIS, but you don't dare really to say. But he mentioned names. Maybe he do not know who those people they represent. Who. <laughs> and now he's in trouble. So those people they say the one who commit major sin he is a kafir should be killed. There's a video of Uthman ibn Farouk. He was speaking so friendly when he was talking about gays and lesbians. Almost he's going to hug them. <laughs> anyway, so we continue here. Let us see if something more important here in the video. Uh, he prays, uh, prays uh, Al-Munjid. Uh, website Islamak, Islamaka. You see, this is, a, this is a website I use always. This is a website I use always. And Uthman ibn Farooq, he will say, I don't accept him. <laughs> but he praised him. But this Al-Munjid <laughs> is my favorite joke. فقال أنا ما أدري مثلي يعني لا ينبغي أن يتكلم في هذا ولكن الذي أمامه وأن المنجد المنجد له جهود كبيرة حتى إنه قال سئل أنه هل هو من المجددين فقال أنا ما أدري مثلي so the question here is this المنجد is one of the you know moderators, the one who make trying to make Islam moderate. You know, there is a huge problem in this uh, cult. Uh, Muslims who they are in contact with the, in the civilization, and Muslims who refuse the civilization, or let us say science and etc. 
So those who refuse it, like Mimi Hijab, uh, actually even here is here in the video, and there are some other sheikhs who they are trying to make Islam look nicer, look at more appealing, look more scientific. So they try to throw behind the shelf or behind the storage room in the dark room, anything will make Islam so stupid. And this is exactly what those people do, you know? So this video here, the, the nice thing about it, they are quoting for you a collection of videos, collection of uh, examples with evidence of a speech of each one of them. It's not like, you know, uh, they are saying he said, he, she said, they are giving you the video. And this guy, Muhammad Al-Munjid, he is an, from the Muslim Brotherhood. And Muslim Brotherhood are wanted everywhere. I mean, they are terrorists. Especially in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Emirat, uh, uh, Egypt, etc. So when this potato, Uthman ibn Farouk, he stopped praising those people, he got himself in trouble too. That's why I'm saying if you go to Saudi Arabia, he will be arrested, you know. And the Saudi didn't care really if he has carrying American passport or not, you know, because right away they accuse him of terrorism, and that's it. Even the American, then they will support his arrest, or they will care for him. He is not a Christian to say I am a Christian discriminated, you know. He is a he is a person. They will show him, they will share his, his, his videos that he is supporting terrorists. And this is one of them, you know. And that's it. Bingo. He will stay there. So uh let us go to more videos. This is a big uh, you know a, a big uh, sheikh in uh, in Saudi Arabia. The one they are showing you. You see, all the sheikhs who they are disagreeing with the Saudi family, they are already in jail, unless they are abroad, which means they are wanted. So the Saudi family or uh, the Saudi government, they are doing like a massive cleaning, massive cleaning of Islam in the country. Anyone, anyone, he opened his mouth. Speaking of something opposing what Saudi Arabia tried to establish today, they will walk them out of the earth and they will make them disappear. There's a guy who, uh, you know, uh, he, he saw a dream, just a dream. And then he made a video on YouTube about uh, his dream. Just he saw a dream. In the dream, he said, uh, the prophet of Allah, he came to me. And he said to uh, he said to me to go and find the place so we can meet in it. And then I said to him, Prophet of Allah, in this time, uh, like security is not right, and I don't think it's a good idea to meet anywhere. Which means he is speaking about the Saudi government that they are chasing the, the good the companion of the Prophet, like he is a companion now. The Prophet is speaking to him, and he is a companion, and it's not right for the companion. Uh, to meet and he was arrested and he, he, he was put to execution I don't know really what happened to him and this guy he have a 3 million something followers in Twitter maybe 4 millions he is a big terrorist so Uthman ibn Farouk he put himself in trouble he's trying to promote himself by, by choosing those names but the more he chose those names the more now he is in trouble for real uh let us see this guy. دعوة المنافقة ودعوة المشوهة للإسلام وأهله من أسباب صد عامة الخلق عن الحق. He is saying those people they are doing uh, hypocrisy uh, da'wah and this is one of the reasons of people you know not accepting Islam because uh, you know people sooner or later they will find the truth and you know they will if, even if you convert them they will leave. So he says may Allah uh, deal with them, which means he's praying to Allah to destroy them, to kill them, whatever, you know. That's what the video is saying in, in, the, in the... And the good thing about this video, by the way, it, there is a subtitle, so you do not need my translation. So the video is really nice. Uh, and he, even here we have a point of Mimi Hijab. And Mimi Hijab, he's so angry from those sheikhs. And this is, a, 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 this is a, 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 an interview with one of the jokers, which the Muslim, they laugh at, really. But they became popular for, let us say, a young generation. Like this guy is a joker. This guy, uh, he make, uh, you know, jokes. And uh, so he became popular. Actually, there's a video of him, actually. Uh, I forgot what the title. 
It was really funny. I wish I can play it. But he was doing something very stupid. So uh, those really became popular because they, they speak too much in uh, YouTube or in Twitter or etc. But in reality, Muslims, they don't even consider them to be Muslims. They are not. So when this Uthman ibn Farooq, he associates himself by as a name, you know, he's trying just to get publicity. This is the whole idea. This guy, he was just a few months ago in Saudi Arabia. So if you are against Saudi Arabia, why well, you go to Saudi Arabia if the government there is not true Islamic government? Either you choose a side like this or a side like that. But he is with every side. Hypocrite. This is what they call him, hypocrite. Munafiqeen. Rabi al Madkhali, sorry, Rabi, not 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 Hadi Rabi. He did not even knows how to code the name correctly. And here you will see this is this is uh, Mimi Hijab. They are talking about the scars of Islam. How we can accept them when they say that the earth is flat? How in the world we can accept them? The earth is flat for them still. Man al Jami. Uh, let's say something else. And with all due respect to the scholars in Saudi Arabia, I've sat with them. They have not studied science, and they don't know what. All those scholars, they did not study science. You see, the question is, did they study Islam or uh, should they study science or Islam? You see the stupidity? They did not study science. So Mimi Hijab, and look, they, they lay down. I mean, they are just a bunch of kids. Thanks to, me, to, to David Wood, he made him famous. So this was the, the best uh, of action of David Wood. He made the stupid one famous. Mimi Hijab, uh, Uthman, you know, eh, what you can say. So. Uh, and all of them, by the way, they were talking to me and David Woody jump in the middle. And then they, they, he got them famous. He is saying clearly that the scholars did not study is, uh, science. But he just said they are scholars. So I mean, they study Islam. Who care what science says for them? Shouldn't you follow what Islam says? So Mimi Hijab is an example of those people. Who they are trying to make Islam look better by lying. We cannot say to people that, that the earth is flat, even though it's Islam and Islamic scholars and Islam, the, the Prophet himself say so. We have to, you know, we have to make Islam fit with science. So listen carefully what he say. Al-Jami, one of the leaders of, or the, the, the founders of the movement, Muhammad Aman al-Jami. Uh, let's say something else, and with all due respect to the scholars in Saudi Arabia, I've sat with them. They have not studied science, and they don't know what. Uh, they shouldn't comment. Actually, they shouldn't comment on these matters, in my opinion. And uh, Fakhamat al-Sheikh, you know, Sheikh al-Fawzan, he shouldn't be mentioning it. Uh, I believe that he, this is one of his biggest blunders, all right? Because mm -hmm. okay, if you want to make a fatwa about the, sh uh, the not the shape of the earth, but the, the sun going around the earth, mm -hmm. you want to make a fatwa about that, you need to, be, you need to know the different models. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what the ulama al falak are actually intending when they say X, Y, and Z. Can you believe it? It's one of the greatest disservices of the ummah, I believe. Uh, sorry, there are just some people in Saudi Arabia Fair. who have who uh, they they, are, they do have ilm of fiqh, yes, of hadith, yes, of Quran. I we agree, but not of ulama al, al falak, not of. See? So they have they have they have knowledge of the Quran, but they don't have knowledge of science. But is, is, uh, are they supposed to teach science anyway? The Quran says the earth is a flat. Well, the earth is a flat then. The Quran says that the sun set in murky water, then the sun set in mur murky water. The Quran says that the sun grown around the earth. So do you see guys the stupidity? Do you see the shame? Do you see how shameful they are? Those scholars did not study science. These are scholars, they study Islam. This is what, what count. What count is what Islam says, not what science says. You know, if a, if, a, if, a, if a person who is a scientist, he says to me, how in the world do you want to tell me that Mary, she gave birth and she's a virgin? I was, I'm not going to change my belief. This is my belief. You don't believe, don't you? Who care? You see how hypocrite they are? So he admitted that they are scholars. They ad he admitted that they study Islam very well. And he is nobody anyway. Who is he? But his problem is that those scholars did not study science. So if we study science, we should change what Quran teach and what Islam teach and what Muhammad said. When Muhammad, he said the sun goes every day from point A to point B. What does this have to do with the science of the science today? How, are we going to change what Muhammad said? 
So you see, you see how, how Muslims are really suffering from big problem, you know? I ask Allah uh, uh, Prophet regarding the verse, and the sun runs into its fixed course, for a term decreed for it, chapter 63, verse number 28. He said its fixed course is under the throne of Allah's throne. And this is Al-Bukhari, and this is Al-Bukhari too. And this is Riyad al-Salihin, at tirmidhi Sahih. And this is Sahih. And this is Sahih. And this is Sahih. And all of this is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Muhammad, he says to his companion, the guy who used to accompany him just to eat free food, Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar was a poor man. He is like the kind who like, you know, you know, there's some kind of people they will accompany you because you have money, just because you pay for the bill, you know what I mean? Like, you are the sugar friend, so he go with you, whatever. Muhammad, you don't pay for the bill anyway. He's a prophet, so whatever he go, free food, free drink, is welcome, a lot of respect. And Abu Dhar is the companion for that. So, this is why they call him the father of the ants, you know, because he is like an ant. He, he, he you know, you throw a crump in the ground, and right away the ant will go and grab it. So uh, it says here, do you know where the sun say, uh, goes? He replied, he says, Allah and his apostle knows best. And here you see Muhammad is associated with his God as a knowledge. He is, he is and God, they are the source of knowledge. Muslims are mushrikeen, as always we say. He, the holy prophet, he's holy, remember that, holy. Observed, verily the sun, Guys, till it reached the, its resting place under the throne, then it fell and prostrate, remains there until it's asked to rise and go up again, to go to go to the place where whence you uh, uh, you came, and then it goes back. So Muhammad here, you can read the whole story, and this is Sahih Muslim. Uh, Muhammad making it clear that the sun is the one is moving from point A to point B, and point B is under the throne of Allah. And the throne of Allah is over the water. So the sun goes in the water, as the Quran says. So this Mimi Hijab saying, well, you know, excuse me. Those are scholars, yes. They study Islam very well, yes. They study the Quran very well, yes. They study the Hadith very well, yes. But this is not in agreement with science. So what we will do? We have to deny Islamic teaching Anything is against science, we have to delete it. And this is what Mimi Hijab laying down with no respect to his own religion. I mean, you are speaking about your God, your religion, and you are laying down like a mule in the couch. What's wrong with you? Just sit down at least. He's laying down. He's laying down, his legs is up like a mule. So, those scholars did not study science. So we cannot, what we will say, if I am standing in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the park in England, I will say, yes, the prophet says so. People will laugh at us. How many people we can convert to Islam if this is what the prophet said? And the Quran says so. So they did not study science. I believe that he. This is one of his biggest blunders. All right, because okay, if you want to make a fatwa about the, sh the not the shape of the earth, but the the sun going around the earth, you want to make a fatwa about that. You need to be. You need to know the different models. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what the ulama al falak are actually intending when they say X, Y, and Z. It's one of the greatest disservices of the ummah. I believe. Okay. Sorry, there are just some people in Saudi Arabia. Fine. Who have who so they they are they do have ilm of fiqh yes of hadith yes of Quran I we agree but not of ilm al al falak not bingo so they have knowledge of the Quran they have the knowledge of the hadith they have knowledge of the fiqh like you know the, the let's say uh, uh, to study uh, Islam and to analyze and to give and make decision uh, and but uh, science sorry thank you very much stop there but who said that religion since when? 
that we have to change the religion we believe in and what we will do with what Allah said when the Quran says that the earth is flat are we going to say Allah is a stupid sorry Allah you do not know science and this is why when we show them the sun set in murky water the Muslim decides say oh it appear like it's a, this is high this is from the perspective of the eye but you know can't Allah he says this is from his perspective can he can't he add that word as you see it says he found it sitting he did not say he thought he, he didn't say maybe he didn't say that he was wrongly he said Allah is telling us what this guy he did which is a coming from a fiction story a Roman king Alexander the Great the guy who wore a two horn in the war time, he found where the sun set. He found it sitting in a spring of muddy water. Actually, not muddy, muddy and hot. This is why it's you know muddy because it's boiling. So look what happened here. A Muslim he tried to refute this. He would say to you, "Don't you see the sun going down in the ocean?" Well, we have a big problem that bigger than this because the, even the verse says it is a spring of water, and since when the spring of water is an ocean? So. People like Mimi Hijab, Ibn Farooq, those kids, who they can say whatever they want, and they are not responsible for what they say, because simply they are jeans people, they are wearing jeans, you know, they live in the West, and nobody will take them accountable for whatever. It's a, it's a free land, you can say whatever you want, who cares? So, it says here, it's sitting in a spring of water, boiling water. It's not an ocean. So, there's no perspective, there's no he thought, and don't they say the Quran is so clear? Don't they say the Quran always makes things clear? Isn't the, isn't the Quran that says, We made it in great details. So why you are adding things is not there because simply this is a problem. And not only that, if you go a few verses after, you will see even he continue moving and then he found he reached the sitting, rising place of the sun. So there is a sitting place for the sun and there is a rising place for the sun. But all of us, we knew that the same place rise, the same place where the sun rise, is the same place where the sun set. You do not need to go anywhere. I can sit in the same chair I'm sitting right now. I can witness the sunset from my chair location, and I can witness the sunset from my chair location. But as you see, the verse is so clear. They have, he, he went all the way until he came to the place where the sun set. Do you see it? And you know, when, when a person like Mimi Hijab, he speaks about science, well, shouldn't he ask himself, where is the dam and where is the people of Gog and Magog, which is their number is 1,000 to 1? Which means 1,000 from Gog and Magog and one, th one person from us, a human? This is not a problem. There's a dam built by Zulkarnayn. And this dam will be open only in the day of judgment. And right now, behind the, the there's there's a movie. It's called the movie like uh, Z something Z something movie, like where people they jump over a wall. I don't know. I forgot the name. It's like at the end of the like of the end of the time. So uh, according to Muhammad, according to the Quran, there's a wall built between us and those creatures who they are very evil, and they will conquer the earth one day, and they will go all the way to Mecca and Medina. And they will throw their arrows at Mecca and Medina to, uh, to the point the Muslim, they will have enough wood for seven years. Muhammad is speaking about wood. So Muslim cannot say the arrows is the arrows of China or the arrows or the missiles of, of, of Putin. Those are made of wood. Have you ever seen of those made of wood? So the, uh, uh, Muhammad, he says, from the arrow of those people, we will have enough for seven years of wood for burning, for cooking. All right. Somebody saying the Quran is not an astronomy book. No need to say, by the way, the Earth orbit, the Sun. Well, my friend, your comment is not right because you are saying to me, no need to say. Well, Allah, He said, you tell Allah. You see, the problem is that your God, Allah, He have a big mouth. So when you say to me, there is no need to say. Well, you tell that your God. Did your God says that? Would he say that? Then you know you are in trouble, not me. If you don't, if, if Allah is God, and then he says stupid things as we see in the screen, then Allah, he put his nose in science, and he is in trouble. 
if you, if you just may talk about worshiping, uh, spiritual things, etc., we would say, okay, this is what this have to do with science. But your God, he decided to be a scientist boy. And the second he started talking about science, the second he started making poo-poo. So don't tell me that we can think of any science in any. We know, we know supposed to be a book of religion is not a book of science, but your God, a big mouth. He can't shut up his mouth. He spoke about how the baby is made. He spoke about the sperm where it's coming from. He spoke about women have a sperm coming from their ribs. This is why I'm not getting married. You don't want to get married and you go to the bedroom and then your wife, she take off her clothes and instead of finding two breasts, you find testicles. According to your pride, God, you, your women have a breast testicles. So don't tell me the Quran is not it's too late. Tell your God before he opened his mouth. All those verses in front of us about where the sun set, how the sun goes, where the sun goes, where the baby coming from. This is science, my friend. This is what this have to do with the spirituality anyway. Nothing. So your God, he have a big nose, and his nose is expanding the more he talk. You know the Bianco, what his name? The cartoon? So you want to do it, make this is what the Muslim they're trying to do. They're trying to shorten the nose of their God. Like a Muhammad. So they deny what Muhammad said, though his nose will shrink, will shorten. Oh, the Prophet didn't say that. The Prophet he didn't say the sun set in murky water. The Prophet, what he meant, well, oh, let me show you what the Prophet said. Are you sure? Then we showed him what the Prophet said. And then they will say, oh, this is not a true hadith. But it says there, Hassan. It says there, Sahih in chain. Oh, there's people lie about him. You know, the Prophet did not say that. This is your book. This is your Muslim. This is one of the authentic books of Islam in front of you. The Prophet, he said, the sun set in a, in a, in a boiling water. No, no, ask Osman ibn Farooq. Like, who's Osman ibn Farooq? This guy, he, he, just, he, he just took off his diaper yesterday and put ketchup to make himself look like a hero. If he's a hero, he go and join Mujahideen. Ketchup boy. So, in order to find a way to escape the stupidity of their prophet, they try to make Islam clear from what Muhammad did and he said, and the Quran said. So when, when they speak about, like, if, if you go and find the videos of the Muslim sheikhs, did you ask yourself why they are saying the earth is flat? Well, there is a reason. The Quran says so. I mean, what they can do, they are, they are being honest. This is what the Quran says, what they will say. And this is what Mimi Hijabi was saying. Oh, those people, they go and watch like memory TV and they watch uh, uh, what they say in those videos and people will laugh at us. So what he's trying to do is trying to let us escape the stupidity, which is mentioned in our book, and we need to get rid of it. As simple as that. I'm just trying to find... Uh, Actually, I found different videos, but I want to find. Let us see this guy here. Sadiqa says some quote that the Sheikh bin Baz said that the earth is flat and whoever says otherwise he's an atheist. This is not entirely true. This was said in the beginning, and the Sheikh says, I haven't seen it. I only judge by what I read in the Quran. And to him, all what Allah mentions in the Quran is that whatever you see, you see it flat in front of you. Not that it is not round. So, ah, see, so you now look, I tried to fix it. So he judged by the Quran. The Quran says, whatever you see is a flat. So that's Quran says it's flat then. I mean, do you see the stupidity? They're trying not to lose the youth, the one who go to school and see that this is not right. Well, you just said that the Quran says, whatever you see is a flat. So the Quran says, 
the earth is flat. Anyone who says otherwise is an atheist? No, I don't think the sheikh said anything uh, uh, similar to that. Nevertheless, he's not infallible. He's a great imam of the uh, uh, Islam and the Muslims, one of the greatest contemporary scholars of, all t of our times. Okay, so one of the greatest scholars, he says the earth is a flat. Who are you? Do, do, you, do you see the stupidity? He's praising the guy. He is one of the greatest scholars of our time, not like in Saudi Arabia, in our time. And what the greatest scholars confirm that the Quran says that the earth is flat. And yes, do you remember when this uh, potato uh, uh, ultimate fart, he says to me, he accept the translation of uh, Rashad Khalifa. Do you remember? And then we find that there's many verses are missing. In Rashad Khalifa translation, he translated the verse. Oh, we are typing in English. Chapter 79, verse number 30. In the translation of Khalifa, he says, and the earth, uh, he made it like an egg. But the word in Arabic here, the haha, he made it flat. This Rashad Khalifa is a stupid. He don't speak Arabic, obviously. He was copying a kid who responded to me many years ago. He was like 19 years old. He made a video. He found in the dictionary, there's a word that's called duhya, or duhya. But this is a different word. This is the haha. So the stupid, they start copying, and even Zakir Naik, he says that in his video. Brother Fitar, somebody saying that the Quran said the earth is flat. In fact, if you go to chapter 79, verse number 30, you will see that the Quran said that the earth is like an egg. What the heck? Where, where is the word egg? Why wouldn't see it? Here we go. This is your Muslim translation. Not a single Muslim in the world who speak Arabic, he don't know that this is not egg. It's the opposite, it's making it flat. And look here, they are trying to make it look nicer. They say, he extended to wide expense. Have you ever heard of wide expense, extense, uh, uh, expense uh, egg? You know, if you go to the tafsir, you will see it says flat, 79, 30. So this is what the Muslim now they are struggling with. How we can get rid of this? Allah, he spread the earth. Okay, and Allah, he spread the earth. Where he spread on the water. Where is the earth located? In the top of the water. Remember, you know, how the earth is made. You know, there's a bowl and the bowl in the water and the bowl is carrying the, you know, the, the earth and, you know, if you go to the front interpretation, we can change to all of them. You will see it says, he spread the, uh, the earth, he made it flat. I mean, the word flat is there in front of your eyes. You see it? In order for the Muslim to make the Quran sound better, so they start saying, oh, this word is not flat, it's the shape as an egg. Perfect. You know? Shape as an egg. So the Muslim today, they are reshaping the Quran, reshaping the Hadith, reshaping the egg and the earth from being a flat to be an egg. How much you can do of reshaping? Right? <clears throat> a big problem for this cult, and they cannot live. They, you know, this is why I mean hijab, he says, those scars did not read. Did not, they didn't know science. So it looked like if we know science, we have to change the Quran meaning to make it fit with the science, not what the Quran is saying. And here you see why this Mimi Hijab is a joke. Because either you follow science or you don't follow science. If you follow science, you cannot follow Allah because Allah teaches things is against science.
Uh, <clears throat> Let us see here. And this is Biblical theory translation, uh, uh, interpretation for the same verse. As you see, and then Allah, he created the earth, and he spread it out. And here, actually, look what, look what the Quran is saying, and this is Ibn Kathir. The earth was created before the heaven, was created. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? Because in order to create the earth before the heaven, then where is the earth located? Because you need to create the space for it first. Do, do you understand? Can you create something before you create a space for it? So he created the earth. The earth was where? In the mouth of Allah? In the stomach of Allah? So the earth created before the heaven. And then after he created the heaven, you know, Allah, he spread the earth out. He made it flat. And then after that, brother, he put mountain in the top of it. So according to the Quran too, Allah, he placed mountain in the top of the earth. And this is why those who claim to be, you know, sheikhs or the debate Christians, they will not dare to come to someone like me. They will debate somebody in the street. He do not know what he's talking about. So they can take advantage of his ignorance. But here we make them shish kebab in two seconds. How many million people, they watch the video where it says, smash Allah, smash Allah. The salty water and the fresh water, they don't mix. But the Quran doesn't say anything about what the video is saying. The Quran claiming stupid mistake that the earth water, the fresh water, is separated from the salty water and they never touch each other. This is not about water of two ocean or two uh, body of water like in one tunnel going together. No. This is about Allah, he put a, a dry land between a sea of a fresh water. Muhammad, he think the, the water the fresh water is under the ground. There's a sea. Which means wherever you go, there's a, there's a water. That's it. You dig, there's a sea. So this is why the Quran says that there's two seas. Did not even use the word spring of water. It says two seas. You see it? Chapter 25, verse number 53. And chapter 27, verse number 61. And chapter 27, verse number 61 actually exposed their lies. It says it clearly, Allah, he made a barrier between them. Do you see it? It's, uh, uh, who is, who has made the earth firm to live in? Made rivers in the Mideast? Set a throne, mount uh, their own mountains, immovable, and made separation bet bar between the two bodies of the following water. Do you see it? Bar. It's not water, salty water, and fresh water touching each other. There's a bar. And then you go to Ibn Kathir, you go to any scholar, you will see, they say right away, Allah, he used Barzakh. Barzakh is a dry land. The same as it says here in chapter uh, 55, 19, and uh, 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 55, 20. Between them, there's a barrier. They cannot even transgress. So this is an error. And you can go and check the interpretation as an example, Ibn Kathir, not me. But the video on YouTube, smash Allah, smash Allah, how amazing smash Allah. How the Quran say that, how Quran knew that if this is not from God? Thousands of videos. Thousands. Fresh water, salty water don't mix.
Quran. And look what we will find in YouTube. How many result? It doesn't show the result actually in YouTube, but endless, my friend. Endless. Look, look at this. Look, brother, 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 brother. When the Quran is speaking about something totally different, it is it is the opposite. It is a stupid mistake. Does God do not know that all the water we have is coming from the ocean anyway? So how we don't mix? And not only that, the rivers end in the ocean anyway. So how they don't mix? And not only that, we don't have two seas, the fresh water and salty water. So the most time they show you those videos, uh, how the amazing brother, huh? Look at those two certified idiot. Explain Islamic paradise, okay. This is Sheikh Omad video. Yeah, so you see, but if you go, if you go and read the interpretation for this verse, you will see right away that this is not what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying the opposite. That those, they don't mix. There is, there is a dry land between them. Chapter 55, verse number 20. Let us go to Bika Theor. And by the way, Ibn Kathir, uh, uh, he was like a YouTuber in his time. He was the person, he, you know, he tried all his explanation, actually, is made to refute the Christians. The Christians in his time, they were making fun of Islam. So, uh, uh, this is a liar too. Even Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar. All this is just to defend. So, if we go down, it says here, or let them lose according to Ibn Abbas, etc. And says, he prevent them from meeting by dividing barrier, by placing uh, 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 he, he, a barrier he placed between them, he separate them. There are two seas, fresh water and salty water. The former coming from the uh, running river. Uh, we discuss this topic in Surah Al-Rahman. We can go to Surah Al-Rahman now and we will see. But let us go here. It says, he put a barrier, complete partition between them. What is this barrier? It says, a land between those two body, two type of water. You see it? A land. This is what the word barzakh means. So, when somebody says Islam is not a book of science, we are... Uh, it's supposed to be not, but your God is spoke about it, so it is. If your God did not put his nose on science and how the earth is, and how the water is separated, and how the, how the baby is made, and where the sperm is coming, and how he placed mountains, etc., then we cannot say the Quran is a book of science. Quran is a book of religion, you know, believing in such a God. But as you see, your God, he put his finger everywhere. And that lead into a disaster for the cult of Muhammadan. And now the Muhammadan, they are fighting how we can really get rid of those sheikhs. We are exposing our belief. Mimi Hijab saying, excuse me, those sheikhs, they make a mockery of our belief. Because yes, they knew Islam. They knew the Quran. They are scholars. But they should not speak about this because they don't know science. But why they should know science anyway or what they need to know they are a scholar in islam so what he's saying to you we muslim we should change what islam meant we don't go by what islam meant we go by what science meant and we try to bend the islamic teaching to make it fit with science actually this part alone is a disaster maybe you can cut it in your editing make this video alone make a title for it you know he admitted that those are great scholars. He admitted that they have, they are the greatest. They have knowledge in the Quran. They have the knowledge of the Hadith. They have the knowledge of Fiqh. But yes, they could, should not, they should not talk about it because they don't know. They are not connected with science. The different models. You need to understand what the, my opinion, and Fakhamat al-Sheikh, you know, Sheikh al-Fawzan, he shouldn't be mentioning a...
ان ان ريفرنس تو شيخ هادي المدخلي وديع بال شيخ ربيع المدخلي ربيع المدخلي سوري ربيع نط 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 هادي ربيع المدخلي this vicious dog of the madkhali movement this is a most the most volatile movement in islam today one of the leaders of or the the, the founders of the movement Muhammad Aman Al Jami, one of the leaders of or the the, the founders of the movement, Muhammad Aman Al Jami. Uh, let's say something else, and with all due respect to the scholars in Saudi Arabia, I've sat with them. They have not studied science, and they. Guys, he sat with them. This guy, he sat with them. I sat with them. I, I, you know what? I think you did share the same conference room where where they sat in the same at where seat too. This is how you sat with them. He sat with them, so he became a scholar too. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what they shouldn't comment. Actually, they shouldn't comment on these matters, in my opinion. Oh, he should comment. He can comment. The scholars, they cannot. I mean, have you ever heard of a drama like this? He just called them scholars of Saudi Arabia. They should not comment. But they are the scholars, not you. Why you are making comment about it? Oh, because we are here to deceive and to lie. And Fakhamat al Sheikh, you know, Sheikh al Fawzan, he shouldn't be mentioning it. I believe that he, this is one of his biggest blunders, all right? Because, okay, if you want to make a fatwa about the, sh the not the shape of the earth, but the, the sun going around the earth, you want to make a fatwa about that, you need to be, you need to know the different models. You need to understand what the ulama. So, can Muhammad make a comment about it? According to Mimi Hijab, Muhammad, he cannot. Because Muhammad is the one who says the earth go around. Do you see the stupidity? So the scholars cannot make comment. Their prophet cannot make comment. Allah cannot make comment. Mimi Hijab laying on his ass in the in the couch, like, like a couch potato. He can make comment. All of drama was. What is the purpose of this drama? Islam is a joke. And Islam is a stupid. I have the link for the video is down in the in the floor. I'm not going to keep this video. You know, I will keep it maybe for an hour or so. So if you like to uh, to download the video I just made, this one we are talking now. Wait maybe for 15, 20 minutes until the video is over, and then you can uh, download it. And here, Mimi Hijab, the Muslims are. You see. This video actually, they are laughing at all those people. This video made by Muslims, laughing at those, they call them jokers, those are munafiqeen. Those are false, uh, false Muslims. Isn't it amazing how the Muslims now, they are, what the problem? The problem is that you are trying to bend Islam to make it sound different. They're trying to create a new religion. Just to get, be accepted. In YouTube. You do not know Muimi Hijab, but if you study science, he can comment on it? Ah, okay. But we are not commenting in science, you idiot. We are commenting in the Quran. And isn't it you the same person who said to me the Quran is not the book of science? My friend, do you have a diarrhea of the comments? Isn't it you the same person who says to me, the Quran is not the book of science. Quran is not astronomy book. No need to say by the earth orbit uh, the sun. And then you say this to me, you donkey. So if the Quran is not an astronomy book, why the Quran is speaking about astronomy? And who is going to comment about the comment in the Quran about astronomy? Very silly people. Don't don't come here. I, I don't know. I I think you are fake too. I don't think even you are a Muslim. I think you are just making stupid things to make to make uh, to make Muslim look stupid. So I suspect you. You are working for a Christian prince, maybe. So I blocked you. Here we go. You are blocked. Huh. Are you happy now? I blocked you literally because you are making Islam more stupid than it could be. Sound fishy for me. Christian prince, and then then. So he study science. He can make comment about science. We are not talking about science. We are talking about is Islam. And Islam speak about science. That's why science is in the topic. Where those monkeys come to me from?
somebody opened the door of the zoo. Like somebody told you here, we are scientists. Am, am I a scientist myself? Yeah, I used to work in NASA, you know, what I, what I do there. Like the president, the ex-president of Egypt, he told them that he was a member in NASA. He never been there. He doesn't even know how to speak English. Where do, where do those people come to me from? So this is a great video. You can make, a, you know, and here, here, uh, Sheikh Uthman, he uh, described himself as little boy compared to this person. Look, this idiot, he is willing to humiliate himself next to this guy just to get promoted. <laughs> Sheikh is like somebody who gives a PhD thesis and then hands it over to a kindergartner. <laughs> Did you see what he called himself? Did you see what Sheikh Uthman compared himself to this guy? But this guy is the biggest potato ever. This guy, he knows nothing really about religion. He make a comment about the Quran. He used mockery. He used jokes. He used a, a, a wife and, and the, and the mother-in-law. And he tried to make it connected to the Quran just to explain what Allah is saying. And then people laugh at both. They laugh at him. They laugh at the Quran and they laugh at what Allah is saying. So, Uthman, he compared himself to this guy, saying he is like a little tiny boy in a school compared to him. MashaAllah. He give me the mic to someone like me. MashaAllah. Sheikh is like somebody who gives a PhD thesis and then hands it over to a kindergartner. And people are laughing. <laughs> Now the guy next to him, he will feel so good, you know? This is what Islam is about. Allah and his messenger knows best. So now the guy he is so excited. Yeah, Sheikh Uthman is good for me. I will always accompany him and I always I will say he is good too. Because he is saying that I am the best. Forget about the rest. Yeah. So anyway, feel free to download this video. Share it with your friends. And the video for this here is in the comment section. So download it and, you know, if you would like to share it around and let them laugh at each other. So as you see here, they cannot debate us. This is why they run away from debating us. Like this coward Mimi Hijab, he said to the Muslims, who you want me to debate? They said to him, Christian Prince, he is making a lot of Muslim leave Islam. So then he claimed that he's going to debate me. And then we set a date and then he did not show up in the beginning. Then I start calling and calling and calling. And then we find that he have six, seven people around him. And he put the speaker far away from the microphone so nobody can hear me what I'm saying. They can hear you or hear him only. And then he did not allow me to talk. He said, did you say that? And not only that, actually in this video here, you will see the Muslim making fun of Mimi Hijab for refusing to accept the breast feeding for adult. Let us see what is the part of Mimi Hijab refusing it. To be able to solve this problem yourself and uh, unusual pseudo references to the salaf and whatever the salaf the salaf this is a nostalgic idea of returning to the salaf this vicious dog of the madhali movement yeah, let's see where is the even the comment about breastfeeding for adult it's in the video of mimi hijab they got him busted where is that where is that i saw it somewhere let us see, let us see. Here we go. <laughs> you know, that should... Look what Mimi Hijabi says. Every scholar make mistakes. As we saw today, Sheikh Alabani believed in suckling. I think the word here is the breast of none. Suckling on the, uh, the breast of non muharram which means someone is not forbidden. So the Muslims here, they have like this X, which means this is stupid to say. This is, what, this is true. This is what the Prophet taught. This was in the Quran. So Mimi Hijab, he, when he called me, he said, did you say to this woman, suckle me? And they made a video, says a Christian predator. It's a Christian, uh, what? A, 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 they made me a priest, you know, they have to make it more... Uh, <laughs> okay. Predator, sexual predator, Christian prince, sexual predator. 
I was quoting what the prophet said. And look, he himself, he said the same for Muslim women. I was quoting their prophet, you filthy. And as you see, it's sahih. And this is the comment of Mimi Hijab. Okay, can I suck your wife's tit to make her haram? The ignorant again, he forgot that sucking the wife's tit does not make you haram. No, does not. Which proven again that haram means forbidden. Which means Islam is stupid and Muhammad is stupid. Because what the point? If the boy or the man, he still, this is a growing man. If the man still can have sex with this woman, he can even marry her. So what the point of suckling ten times? So this clash between the Muslims, and if you see here, Muslims, they have comment about this. Jazakallah for this video. Eye-opening video. Ahlul Haq, etc. Okay. Brother Nasser, I don't agree with you. This is one, uh, this, there is no one is uh, uh, infallible. Just because he made mistakes doesn't mean that he should be uh, uh, canceled. The man calls in the Quran and Sunnah. And here, this is a good clarification of uh, of uh, uh, Uthman. Uh, condition, I hope that Uthman and the brothers who watch uh, this take uh, as, adv as advice and not as a permanent of this brother, blah, blah, blah. Okay, they start bashing the guy now. Uh, Subhanallah, I live in Germany. And what is the proof saying the Per Volger is his, 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 his party? Uh, May Allah reward you uh, and Sheikh uh, Omasin, uh, the one who was attacking Uthman. Much needed videos. May Allah preserve Sheikh Uthman, Sheikh uh, Saleh Al Munjid. Those are the ones who oppose. Uh, keep them upon the Sunnah, forgive their mistakes. Those are now they agree they have mistakes. It's a mistake, brother. It's a mistake. Okay. I trusted this channel before when it comes to refutation. But now, since I listened to Uthman ibn Farooq, I realized that they are not trustworthy or open the truth of the time, upon the truth of the time. In fact, some of them, they are just simply jealous. For their brothers, subhanAllah, may Allah cleanse our heart. Okay. Reply, jealous because ibn Farooq and that one man said it. He said to him, you idiot. Didn't we show you what he said? They said. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from uh, callers of misguidedness uh, cause, uh, uh, and cause us to take knowledge uh, only from those who they are upon the sunnah. Reply. Is Uthman uh, uh, not upon the Sunnah? Answer. Uh, somebody is making comment. He is a young Muslim brother who made errors against us, the Sunnah. I think those errors was pointed out as important as the Prophet peace be upon him. I mean, the comment is in this and you know, the struggle is big and horrible. But there's one thing for sure. None of those potatoes dare to speak to me. That is one thing for sure. None of those potatoes dare to debate me. They don't allow me to call them. And they will never dare to call me. And as you see, they go online and they speak online all the time. And even they debate online. Only with the Christian prince. They say, we will debate him only face to face. Obviously, this is an excuse to run away from meeting their boss. Meeting their Allah. When you meet me, Muslims, you are meeting Allah. And you have no way to run away. Who is a Muslim who dare to call me and prove I am not Allah? Any Muslim? I can say to prove it to you that I am Allah. I can say stupid things more than Allah. And that will make me Allah. Sun on not only the sun set in miracle water, well, the sun set in my closet. Here we go. I'm Allah double now. I can be prophet too, prophet Muhammad. 
you know? Yesterday, I wanted to do poo-poo, and there was no walls around. So I ordered two trees to walk to me and to keep me in the shade. So nobody can see me too. And the trees, they walk to me. And they said, Shahada, have you ever heard of such a story from a prophet of God? The guy want to do poo-poo, the trees walk to him, and they keep him in the shade while you are doing poo-poo for 10 hours? I mean, when you want the shade, shade don't change every two minutes. Not even every 15 minutes. I mean, it takes time, slow. So what do you mean you are doing poo-poo when you need a shade? So, if Muhammad became a prophet, or I can become a prophet, easy. Or what I need to, to say, I will say, I don't know how to write, how to read. That makes you qualified to be a scientist in Islam, according to Muslims. And you just say, yesterday, a mule came to my house and took me to the seven heaven 11, which is in Ethiopia. I mean, have you ever heard a guy, he went all the way to the seven heaven in the sky, and then he found the Nile River there? And the Euphrates? I can do better. I can say, well, Allah, he took me and I found the Amazon. We can compete with the Prophet Muhammad. And let us see how many followers we will have. The stupid Muhammad, he heard that the Bible speaks about rivers from, from heaven, but the heaven of the Bible is in the earth. The heaven of the Bible of Adam and Eve, it's not in the sky. Once I debated a Muslim, Sheikh, he's from Lebanon. And we posted in Arabic in YouTube. The coward, the son of Muta, he reported me to YouTube. In less than 20 minutes, they took it down. It was, it was hilarious. Because everybody starts laughing at him. He's a shake, long beard, six foot beard. If you see his beard, the guy, he opened his camera, six foot beard. I mean, the guy, he is, you think he's coming from the sky. He's like a, 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 a sent by God. And then the idiot, he did not know that the heaven of Allah, of Adam and Eve, it was in heaven. This is the stupid Muhammad. He says, Sihanu wa jihanu wal furatu wa nil, kullun min anhari jannah. He took that from the Old Testament. But the Old Testament heaven of the, the garden of Adam and Eve is in the ground, is in the earth. So the confused Muhammad, he go and he copy verses from the Old Testament. And he make it fit with his religion. But in your religion, the garden of Eve, it was not in the earth. So if the, if the Nile River is in the seven galaxies, behind the seven galaxies, seven skies, according to the Quran, how the Nile River is here? And Euphrates and Sihanu and Jihan, those are dead uh, rivers now. If you think you are qualified to be a prophet of Allah, which means you are ignorant, you are illiterate, you are silly, and you make up stories, don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me what is the best story you can make. I come with something new, some Muhammad uh, that compete with Muhammad. Let us see how you want to compete. The prophet, he converted a lizard who is dead to Islam. I mean, how in the world the Prophet, he converted a dead lizard to Islam? And then the Quran keeps saying that Muhammad has zero miracles. Why this miracle is not in the Quran? Hmm? Why the miracle of Jesus in the Quran, the miracle of Moses in the Quran, the miracle of anybody is in the Quran, but the miracle of Muhammad is not in the Quran? The tree say shahada, the camel is speaking to Muhammad, the lizard say shahada, and he's dead. An Arab guy, he came to Muhammad, and Muhammad says to him, why you don't convert to Islam, buddy? He says, if this lizard convert to Islam, I will convert to Islam, and he have a dead lizard to eat him. You know? 
those are the desert lizard they're big so he said if this lizard uh, uh, convert to islam i will convert to islam then the prophet he spoke to the lizard he said assalamu alaikum lizard the lizard he said wa alaikum assalam prophet of allah <laughs> obviously those stories is written long after islam you know the uh, uh, the lizard he converted to Islam. And by the way, this is the website. Uh, they were asking uh, what his name, uh, Ibn Farouk. How you accept this guy to be a sheikh? You know, <laughs> this is his website. <laughs> they use this website always. So anyway, the lizard, uh, uh, you know, when the guy, he says to him, uh, if this lizard convert to Islam, I will convert to Islam, okay? So the, 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 the prophet, he says, hey, lizard, and the lizard answer with the clear Arabic uh, words. Let me use a Google translation, hold on. I mean, you know, it's in Arabic, but but we can do. So the prophet, he says to him, Hey, lizard. Oh, lizard. The Messenger of Allah said, Oh, lizard. So the lizard spoke with the clear Arabic words that all the people could understand. And by the way, the lizard is dead. Just to let you know, the guy, he hunted the lizard. He killed him already. <clears throat> and then it says here, uh, he said to, to, with the clear Arabic word, uh, to you and your happiness, my Allah, Messenger of Allah. So the Messenger already announced Muhammad to be a prophet of Allah. The Messenger, uh, he said to him, Who do you worship? <laughs> he said, He who is in the throne in the heaven, <laughs> and his dominion is in the earth, and uh, uh, his way is in the sea. <laughs> the way to Allah is in the sea. And in the heaven, uh, and her mercy, and her journey, whatever that were about. And then he said to him, Hey, lizard, who I am? Who said that? Muhammad. Muhammad said to the lizard, Who I am? Now, what do you expect the lizard to say? Come on, let us be honest. The lizard, he said, You are the messenger of Allah, the Lord of the world, and the seal of the prophet. Uh, you, you see, Muslims, why you don't bring this lizard to debate me? Sound like he can do better than you scholars. Huh? Seriously, this lizard can do better than your Abdul, the best of your Abdul. Look, he can say right away, the Prophet of Allah, you know. And he speak clear Arabic, and he know Allah is above the throne. Look like this lizard. He is really a scholar too. Where he study? Where he study? Do you think Allah is speaking in his mouth? Ah, must be. Amar Rabbi Amar. Hmm? A lizard converting to Islam? And this is the book, at tabarani I will post the link for you. As you see, we don't make uh, any comment without Showing reference. Let me post the link for you. So you can use Google Translation and love. Maybe you can make a cartoon about it if you are good in graphic. The lizard he knew where is Allah and Muhammad do not know. The guy, he, he, uh, he have a full understanding of Islam and he was dead. He was dead. I just shared the link already. But remember, this is Arabic, so you have to use uh, Prophet Google, peace be upon him, to translate. Yeah? The Prophet, he you know, convert the camel to Islam. The Prophet convert the tree to Islam. 
The Prophet, the rocks, they say to him, Assalamu alaikum. The Prophet, when he do poo-poo, the earth open wide and swallow his poo-poo. And I was wondering, where is my poo-poo going? In my house, there's little seat, it's white seat. I don't know, I'm an Arab, I don't know what, how do they work. You sit on it, you stand up, you hold something to stand up, you hear a sound of water running, and then you look down, you see nothing. Look like I'm a prophet too. And the earth is swallowing my boo-boo. I mean, even his boo-boo is amazing. Oh boy. Anyway, so we will keep this video for a few hours. Uh, don't forget to download it. And if you don't see the video anymore in the here in the screen, I mean in the listed in the web page, I might make it enlisted just for some time to give time for more people to download. But still, you can view it in Patreon. All right. <clears throat> you remind me of doing some work now. Poop work. And all the pro but the prophet, this guy, he have a lot of miracles, but the Quran says he have none. Zero. And look at the lizard when he says he uh, Allah the Prophet, he says to him. Who you worship? Look how how the question is clearly, you know, made and targeted. Is a question the belief of this lizard? Because you never know. He might be Hindus. I mean, how you know? These days, everything is possible. He might be an immigrant coming from Thailand. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, smash Allah. He wanted to show us. How that everybody, even coming from far away, far away lizard, Geigo, he believed in Allah too. And not only that, he knew, he knew, brother, who is above the throne. And Muslims, Abdul's, didn't know where Allah. We ask a Muslim Abdul, where is Allah? He don't uh, say, no, don't ask any question. Is Allah is above the throne? Is he located above the throne? If we don't answer those questions. So how come the lizard, he can answer it? By the way, there's some kind of lizard. I'm not sure if they are converting to Islam or not yet. I mean, look at this guy. What is the problem? Don't you think he is a believer or what? I'm just looking at this website here to see what, uh, look at this lizard here, this yellow one. Smash Allah. There is no way this guy is a believer, you know? Or look at this one here too. Or look at this guy. Aman Rabbi, Aman. What is growing in his back? And you know, the Prophet, by the way, he is a specialist with lizard. Do you remember when the Prophet once wanted, they brought him lizard to eat? You see those Arab before, before they start attacking the neighbors, taking their money, they were very poor. That's why they joined Muhammad, so they can, they notice how much money they can earn. Kidnapping people, slavery, blonde women, the women, the gold, the silver. So once the, the, uh, the companion of Muhammad, they brought him a lizard. And Muhammad, he look at the lizard to eat, you know, supposed to eat. He look at the lizard and he says, hmm, you know what? They have five fingers. Let me see where I can find the hadith. Let me, let me put the screen down so you don't get your headache. Okay. Uh...
So Muhammad start counting their fingers. Here we go. And he noticed something very important. See, the prophet is scientist. He's not just normal person. The Messenger of Allah, uh, they said to him, oh, this is actually not the one. Uh, I want to I see which one he counted the fingers. Hold on, another one. So he started, you know, to make it uh, simple, he started counting the fingers of the, of the lizard. Uh, and the prophet dislike eating it. Why? Because he thinks they are Jews. Yeah. Read with me. And this is Sahih Hadith. As you see, Sahih Hadith. We were with the prophet and the people caught uh, mistigor and they grilled it lizard you know they 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 glared it okay they grilled it and ate from it then I caught one and I grilled it and I brought it to the prophet he took a palm stalk and he started counting his finger with with it and he said, a nation from among the children of Israel, we are turned into beasts of the earth. And I do not know if this is they. That's deep. So Muhammad now is not sure if he should eat the lizard or not, because this lizard, he might be specifically my friend Jack Shalom. And the Mimi Hijab, he says to us, the scholar should not make a comment about this. Because if you make a comment, people will know about it. And then when people know about it, they will laugh at us. And when they laugh at us, they laugh at Muhammad. And when they laugh at Muhammad, they get screwed. So if you are a person who believes in the evolution theory, Muhammad, you have different opinion. It's the opposite. They used to be human and they become lizard. And the funny is, Muhammad is confused what they turned to be. But isn't it the Quran says Allah made them monkeys and pigs? And now Muhammad is switching to lizard. In different hadith, he said the same about rats. He saw a rat and those rats, they don't drink she camel milk. So Muhammad came with the conclusion that those rats are the people of the Jews who Allah cursed and made them rats. Why? Because, brother, rats don't drink she-camel milk. Well, because they are smart. Because, you know, she-camel milk is dangerous. Always follow what animals do. If you have milk, if you have a cat at home, if you have a milk, you do not know if it is damaged or not yet, healthy or not, give it to the cat. If the cat refuses to eat it, it means it's bad. As simple as that. So imagine the rat is refusing to drink the she-camel. Muhammad, he drink it. So look what happened. The genius Muhammad. Uh, where is the rat? Where is the rat? Here we go. Muhammad again making the same poo, poo Remember in the previous hadith, he was wondering if they are lizard. Now they are rats. The prophet says a group of Israeli were lost. Nobody knows what they did but i do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats okay prophet muhammad how you know that muhammad is a scientist look you study you observe for if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat it will not drink it but if the milk is a sheep put it in front of it it will drink it so muhammad he came to his conclusion uh, the Jews, it's written for them, brother, in the book of Torah, that they cannot drink she camel milk. Mm. This rat is not drinking she camel milk. Mm. Conclusion, this rat is an Orthodox Jews. <laughs> I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid poo, poo more than this? And you know, the Muslim, they go around and mimic, mimic hijab, he uses 
like some strong English words to show you he is educated supposedly but the second you ask him a question he will make poopoo hey my friend Muslims I can make a conclusion about donkeys too if we put don uh, uh, beer to a don uh, alcohol to donkey he will not drink it you know what I'm going to say next don't you what, what? Who drink camel urine save you? Mo monkey drink camel urine. Muslim drink camel urine. Can we say monkeys are... I mean, what, what a stupid... This, this is your smart prophet? So this is the conclusion now? And what do we do the Quran? Why the Quran says Allah, he made them pigs and monkeys? Why Muhammad is confused? So sometimes they are lizards, sometimes they are rats, sometimes they are pigs and monkeys. I know, by the way, true story about being cursed. There's a guy, he made fun of me once. You know, he hurt my feeling, honestly. He made fun of how I look like. And you believe it or not, brother, I prayed to Allah all night. And then Allah in the morning, the guy who woke up, he looked like me. <laughs> he came to me, brother. I said to him, he said, he's still laughing at me as the way I look like. So I said to him, did you look in the mirror, brother? The guy, he went to look in the mirror. He saw his face. He looked like me. He fell down in the ground and he was dead. Smash Allah. True story. Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you know the story of the guy who made fun of the miswak? Miswak is a piece of uh, wood, root. Muslim Muhammad, he used to put it in his mouth. And the same root, they beat the camel with it. The Muslim, they said to you, it's very short. That the fact it's a really wrong root. Today, they make it short because it became commercial business. Every Muslim want to buy it, supposedly. So, uh, 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 um, a Muslim, he, like, he is not a believer. He's not a good believer. So he made fun of the miswak and he inserted the miswak in his anus. Brother and sisters, you believe it or not? Allah, he punished him and he made him make delivery. He became bratnet, brother. And he made delivery after nine months and he gave birth to a rat. Any Muslim can say to me, I'm lying? Hmm? Let me see if I can find the story in English. Hold on, that would be hilarious. True story. Brother, brother, brother. Brother, brother. Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. All those videos are speaking about the story. <laughs> brother, amazing story about the miswak, the guy who inserted the miswak in his anus, brother. And how Allah, brother, he punished him, brother. Uh... Let us see this video here. أختم بوقعة عجيبة جدا جدا. قال ابن خلكان ذكرها ابن خلكان والقصة ذكرها ابن كثير في البداية والنهاية. الجزء الثلاثة. Guys, this is a story from Ibn Kathir. Very number 13. Ibn Kathir, volume 13, page number 72. Listen carefully. This is not a Christian prince saying that. Ibn Kathir, volume 13, page number 72. 
270 وصفحه 263 and in the page 263 this is the book of al-bidaya and al-nihaya ibn kathir <laughs> about the guy who inserted this the وذكرها صاحب شذرات الذهب now the guy is counting for you how many scholars they mentioned this story and this is a true story brother قالوا لها ديروا ابي سلامه وكان بها رجل من العربان فيه استهزاء زائد بالدين The guy he's from the Arab he make fun of Islam فجرى يوم ذكر السواك وهو جالس Once they mentioned to him the siwak so he was and he was sitting الشيخ عمل محاضرة كلها عن السواك خطبة جمعة كلها عن السواك فقال سواك ايه بس والله لا أستاك إلا من الضبر شفت الفاجر He said what سواك man I'm going to put it in my anus <تصفيق> فاجر وبالفعل أدخل السواك في ضبره فآلمه تلك الليل so he put the siwak inside his anus and it was hurting him that night. I mean, the story is really, I mean, uh, this is Islam. And nobody gets offended and nobody says this is stupid. And nobody says, what the heck is that? And nobody questions how true the story is. Unbelievable. Now, if anyone of you, he can add subtitle to this video in Arabic. I can post the link for you. So people can die laughing. This is Islam, my friend. Not Islam of Mimi Hijab and those guys would lie to you. The guy then he gave birth to a rat after nine months, you know, because he put the miswak in his anus. See what happened to you when you make fun of the miswak of Allah? Who of you would like to give birth to a rat? Try it. Huh? Smash Allah. Smash Allah and try it. Don't trick. I don't know if you want to record yourself on YouTube. Uh, and <laughs> I can't ask people to do that. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, feel free to download the video. I'm not going to stay longer than this. Uh, as you see, I don't know, maybe because it's summertime, not too many view. But in, in, in Muslim pages, the view is really high. In our page, for some reason, I don't know why. And we told people, like, guys, they used to come to the other channel, and we told them we are going to move to this channel. Still, people do not know how to find me. I don't know what's wrong, people. Remember always, you can always find my channel where it's located by going to patreon.com. It's for free. You do not need to pay. You do not even need to sign in. You go to patreon.com slash Christian Prince, and you will find where it's going to be. My coming broadcast. Just to click at the last video. Very simple. People, people, people. What I can do. You see how the Muslims they support each other even though they are fighting, they are corrupt, their religion is garbage. And here we try to share with you all the knowledge you need to fight and to expose this cult so they cannot affect your children. And in return, we don't get you helping us because by helping us, you are helping yourself. They are even lazy. You, they need somebody to tell them subscribe. They need somebody to tell them uh, like. They need to tell them uh, make a comment. They need to tell them download the video. I mean, you need to tell them anything, everything, as if we are little children and we are not mature adult, and we do not know our duty in this earth. Doing good do not need invitation. As simple as that. And those who do good only if you invite them, they are not good. Obviously, they did good because it's an embarrassment. how they can respond to the invitation. So do good when you can do good. Uh, one more thing. Uh, somebody says, asking me about David Wood, he might delete his channel. If you talk to David Wood, this is my message for him. Why? Why you wanna delete your channel? I don't find any reason. I find it very funny and very weird and it doesn't make any sense. At least let them delete your channel for you. At least let them do it. Don't give them the honor to get rid of you by yourself. 
You know what I mean? If the YouTube will delete it, delete it, okay. Then you can say, I have 700, 600, 1,000 subscribers, and YouTube took me down. But now, if you are the one who deleted, you cannot say that. Secondly, even if you want to have a new platform, uh, so what? Keep this channel. From time to time, post a video, say, hey guys, we made a video, go check it there. So, I hope he is smart enough. I don't know if he really mean it, what he don't mean. I don't know. He sounds supposed to be you know, serious, but I don't know. But this is not a smart move for me. Uh, I don't agree with him in many things he do. And this one is one of them. I don't know. Yeah, but nobody will go there, my friend. Uh, you know, if you make a platform for yourself, you, who is going to go there? You will see. And not only that, it's very costly. Do you see now I have 700 people watching, right? If I am the one who is paying for it, I will be bankrupt. Do you think this is cheap? Do you think it's cheap to run live broadcast and there's 700 or 1,000 or 2,000 people watching live? I had a website before. It's called MohammedTube.com. And I could not take it no more. It's very costly. I receive a bill every month as if, as if I have a phone bill. But this phone bill have no limit. Because the more of you you have, the more they charge you. So I don't know what he is doing. And you are giving the Muslim victory. Hey, we kicked them out. This is what happening. So I don't know. I mean, if you are trying to promote a new platform, you can do that without leaving the channel. Delete all the videos here. So they cannot flag you. And from time to time, post a video, which nobody can flag. Say, hey guys, I have a new video. This is the title, search it. They go there. Make it like a, another window for you to get in touch with people who, you know. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't understand people why they do that. And you know, like here, uh, he have a debate with uh, this idiot, <laughs> Nader Ahmed. And he again, he starts speaking about uh, alcohol. <laughs> Tell David Wood to watch my video and see how to refute such an idiot. In two minutes. What alcohol? Just learn, guys. Learn, learn, learn. We master Islam. Islam is our joke. Huh? <clears throat> I'm not concerning of David Wood. David Wood will live without YouTube and what this other, but this is not the right decision to make. Uh, you can take all your channel down. I mean, your uh, your videos. Just leave it a place. You can make a comment from time to time. Hey guys, I'm here. Hey guys, I will have a debate. Hey guys, you know, just uh, make it like a Twitter. Nobody can flag that. There's no point of deleting it. You know, I mean, there's no point. And you know what? If you want to delete it, give it to the different Christian. Give it to a church. Transform your account to different body. Without even saying to you, you too. I know. Uh, you see, if I am, if he's lucky actually, for me, each time I reach 100,000, YouTube delete my, my channel. Sometime even before the 70. So he have a channel for 12, 13 years. That's why he have a big number of uh, subscribers. For me, I should have 3 million, 4 million subscribers. I was making videos before even David Wood became a Christian. Uh, <clears throat> but anyway, he's free to do whatever, whatever he wants, but I don't think this is the right decision. Actually, the Muslim, they will like it. They think if they flag videos of channels, you know, the Christian, they will leave. I will never leave. You delete my channel, I have 10. I will pop up right away. Two minutes after, I will go live. Trust me. Try it. Actually, they try it many times. Yeah? I have many channels. Who care about who care about the channel where it is? What we care for, that the video is going to be made and Muhammad is going to be exposed no matter what they do. Very simple. Um...
my friend Sharia tube or not Sharia tube who care we use to YouTube even if it's Sharia tube even is that even that is better because that will make it more exciting there's a fight happening right so why you expect them to support you I mean they are atheists and they are anti-christianity since when the atheists they love Christianity they hate it they hate us you know it's not a secret so uh, uh, I'm not surprised YouTube is doing that to Christians. That is very normal to be done. Actually, they are being kind. If you think about how much they dislike us, you know, how much, you can't imagine. Uh, CP, jealous of D. David Wood. Why I'm jealous? I'm asking him not to delete his channel. I will be jealous. Get out of here. <laughs> I'm asking him not to delete. <laughs> How that make me jealous? Stupid people, unbelievable. I mean, people, they are really stupid. Uh, how come David Wood lost the debate? How come you don't debate a critic of the Bible like Bart Rahman? He don't dare bring him. Actually, you know what? Bart Rahman already he himself he he get himself busted. In the in the in the video with David Wood, let me find the video. Hold on, just uh, give me a second. I, I hope it's still there. We play the intro every time, right? Even with your Mimi hijab, and uh, Rahman he believed that Jesus is not Christ, and he was a crucified. So this guy he got you busted, you Muslims. So you you should pray to Allah that he is wrong, and this is how stupid the Muslims are. They are asking me to debate such a guy who deny that Jesus is even Christ. So if he won, you say he won, right? That's me, Muhammad lost. Muslims are really stupid. Their hatred made them lose their mind. This is, this is, let us, if we go to the, to David Wood, let us see where he spoke with this uh, Borat. I'm trying just to find the video. And you will see that Borat, he admit that must be Jesus is God. Because when 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 he been speaking about uh, the one who appear, the one who appear to to the disciples, Borat he said for sure something appeared to them. For sure, and that's it. You admit that Jesus is God. So what do you mean for sure? Someone appeared to them. Appear, not not a normal person like appear like a, a miracle appearance. I don't know where to find the, the, his video. I think he have three videos with uh, David Wood. Yeah, but you can find it and you can watch it. He agree that someone appear to the disciples, and that is supposedly Jesus. So by saying that, that that means Jesus is really resurrected and Jesus is, uh, you know, uh, the true God. Uh, I don't know if this is the one. No. Let us see. <clears throat> anyway, you have too many videos there. It's hard to find it. Uh, uh, here, maybe, maybe this one here. I don't know if this is the original one. I think this is a different one. Or maybe this is the same, but uh, David Wood, he copy a part of it. So he made it clear that someone appeared to the disciple of Jesus. And they'll say belief in the resurrection arose from something with yep. Osiris or something like that. Uh, what, what's your perspective on, on those so parallels? Well, I, is that where belief that, arose? Yeah, I mean, I cover that in my book, Did Jesus Exist? Because this is an argument that the mythicists themselves also use. Um, my view is that there, there are a lot of stories about Jesus that do closely parallel uh, stories that you get about other sons of God in the ancient world that were in circulation before Christianity. And so you have people who are born miraculously when, when a divine being makes a, a woman. See, Abdul? So if you believe what he is saying, that's mean your prophet is copying a story from previous uh, religious group. This is what he is idea, but it's not true. 
because the birth of miraculously, as he claimed, all the names he will count to us, we will find that this is not really what happened to Jesus. So this is dishonest. But this is what the Muslims they are seeking. They are desperate to fight the Christianity by bringing somebody, by saying what he say, he exposed Muhammad. Because the Quran says that Mary, she was a virgin. So therefore, Muhammad is a fraud, copying a false story. See what the Muslim they do to themselves? And who said, I don't debate such a guy? Bring him, we will laugh. I never say to anyone, anyone can call me. Anyone. When I open my Skype, I say, who want to call? I never said no to anyone. The only one I don't allow to, to call me is the Christians. Everybody know that. Why David would speaking to him? I don't know. People, they have their own idea to invite and make interview. And look, and look what I don't like about David Wood's work here. He is interviewing a guy who is bashing Christianity. And is David Wood is answering no. What does that mean? I mean, what? shouldn't you get him busted, says no, this is, you know, uh, okay, give us a story like it. Name for me a story and let us discuss it. So such an interview is, a, 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 for me, I believe it's a silly, stupid idea because you are giving a chance to someone to bash Christianity. He say whatever he say and you don't refute him. So you are giving him now a chance to deceive the Christians and make them believe in his ideas. Because what? Because he said what he just said, and you did not answer him. So for me, all those interviews are a stupid interview. I will never do interview with Borat. I will make him shish kebab. No interview. What interview for? Who is he? Uh, people, they do things, you know. You can't tell people what to do. Everybody think he is the right way, right? And you might say the same about me. Maybe, maybe David Wood is doing better, you know, the right way. Yeah. For me, I believe this is not right and not even smart. The second somebody, he mentions something, it's a, I believe it's a lie. I have to do fact check immediately and don't let him go with his lie. Otherwise, there's no point of me and this person to be here. Do you see why Muslims they don't dare to speak to me? If we go right now and we choose any debate, if we can't call it a debate, I don't debate Muslims. We, we know... We, we get them busted. We don't debate them. You cannot debate a liar. So if you check any of my, if I search right now, let me search. You will see the first thing will happen right away is getting the Abdul busted by, by something he said, not I said. Something they said, not me. Let me try to find a short, short one of those debates. Uh, all of them, they are long. Let us see. I mean, one hour, two hours, three hours. Okay. Until now, we failed to find one. Oh, you remember this guy? You remember this guy? This is guy, he called me. He says he is from TEDx show. Like, it's a big deal for me. Like, do you know who I am? You remember him? Do you know who I am? Okay, who you are? I am uh, etc. a person, Uthman, whatever was his name. Omar Abdullah, Abdullah Fattah from TED Talk. Okay, and uh, how, how that can help us? You are from there. Is that like a certificate? I mean, look, look, at, look how silly people are if they invite you to talk because this is a stupid, you know, the management there, there are a bunch of idiots who invite Muslims to lie openly. You can lie to them, you can lie to the American, you can lie to the European, but you cannot lie to me. So if you watch it, you would die laughing. I mean, any, 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 any one of them. I'm just trying to find something we can play short. And this is 23 minutes. I don't know. I mean, endless. 
Can we find something not two or three hours? Hold on, let me see. Mission impossible, man. Uh, you remember Perfect Dawa? Perfect Dawa. <laughs> Perfect Dawa. He came to uh, a debate with David Wood. You remember this guy as an example. Perfect Dawa. And in front of David Wood, he is a scholar. He is knowledgeable. He knew Arabic. He is. Uh, he can explain the Quran. He can, etc. Uh, Perfect Dawa. And in front of me is a potato. Uh, do you know the, uh, in Arabic uh, which word is, uh, has been used for cut and hat or chop and hat? No, go ahead so, and enlighten yeah, us. It's, it's, yes, it is at and yad. At means uh, has many, 32 times has been used in Quran with many different meanings. With the most sacrificial. So it doesn't matter uh, who are you, uh, the most, uh, you know, taqwa is uh, in Arabic. But uh, I can interpret it uh, as uh, sacrificial, okay, for that uh, Allah's way. Yeah, uh, somebody told me that in the in the chat, your name is Perfect Dawa. Yes. Okay, Mr. Perfect Dawa. <laughs> as long as you are a person who do Perfect Dawa, can you read, can you read the verse for me in Arabic? In Arabic, no, I have read it in Persian. So how you can do Perfect Dawa without knowing how to read the, your book? Okay, because I read it from different interpret uh, sorry translation. Uh -huh. and, uh, so perfect uh, and if, even if so I, now even your understanding of the Quran even your no, understanding even of the Quran understand is based it. on a translation Listen, I, I, I left you up from your tail and your, your, your head is down you can't escape me, okay. I'm Christian Prince so I want you okay. to answer so those uh -huh. who believe in such a thing, are, are they stupid you think? yes definitely okay that's when you are stupid okay. because this is in the Quran no, this is not. It is in the Quran. So the Hadith. Let's okay, hold on, hold on, let's hold say, on my friend. Let's say Islam is per per perfect, let's say perfect Islam dawa, perfect dawa, my friend. Yeah. So you yes. are saying that the one who cut hands and feet in the Hadith, barbaric, he cannot be Muhammad, correct? Yes, definitely cannot. Okay, what if I show you okay. that you are a stupid and this is in the Quran? Listen, okay. listen, okay. perfect, perfect dawa. Okay. I'm going yeah. to give you, I'm giving to give you a last opportunity to fix all the poopoo you did today. You know? Okay. I want you to use the best detergent to wipe it out. <laughs> so this guy he is a scholar in Arabic with David Wood he is teaching how to know to, to know the mean with the apostate prophet you know in two minutes it, it took me two minutes to flip him upside down do you see the difference go watch his th debate with David Wood and his debate with the apostate prophet and then come watch, my, this is Sheikh Omad, he made this a, a, a summary of my debate with him. It was, I mean, and this is what we do. When somebody says something, you, you know, here supposedly you are debating, and debate mean every word count, every word, sometimes even a letter. So when a liar, he says something, you st stop, let us do a fact check. If you let him continue with his lies, this is not a debate. This is just a stupid kids talking. You lie as much as you want, and nobody will check what you say. That will not work with me. This is why this guy, he made a mistake. This guy, he said, I debated David Wood. I debated Apostle Prophet. I was safe. Let us call Christian Prince. And he, he never thought uh, people would recognize his voice, maybe. So if he do good, he, later he will say, this is me. And he will publish it in his uh, YouTube. If it was horrible, he will not. He will deny it's him because nobody know him. But people recognize his voice, and they told me, "Oh, this is perfect hour." This is hate. Are you okay. a, are you a person against hate? I'm definitely against hate. Okay, so 100%. can you read for me chapter five, verse fourteen, and don't waste my time? If I ever have hate, which I don't, to Muslims, yes, Allah is the one who gave it to me. And as long as you speak and you say it, you are against hatred. That's mean you should stand yes. with me against the Quran as we speak. Let us see how honest you are. Okay. You, you are against hatred. Are you against Allah now, All spreading right. hatred? 
No, I'm not against Allah. Uh, you have to understand. Uh, oh, that so now, Allah. so now we okay. have to understand that this is a good thing. Spreading hate no. is is good thing now because Allah is but the one who did that. Okay, let's okay. look at your hypocrisy. Look at you. a second ago you are against hatred. The second we show you that any hatred the Christian they have is coming from Allah. So suddenly it's we have to understand. Okay, okay let us let us let us make it as simple. If I call you a donkey, is that love okay. or hatred? It is. Uh, I mean, this is uh, definitely not love. The, 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 is, this, this, give me the answer. Is, if I call you donkey, if I call you donkey, this, my friend, don't tell, is, uh, don't tell me, me, don't tell me, is, me the, 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 definitely not love. Tell me what it is. If I call you, hate. if I, yes, is this, this is hate. hate. Okay, guys, yes, this is hate. So if Allah he used the word donkey speaking okay. about us, he is hating you. See, you are the one yeah, who said to see, me, yeah, if I uh, call you see. a donkey, this is hatred. And yes, Allah, okay. he says that those who carry the book, they don't understand them. They are donkeys. And not only that, he okay. says they All are right. animals. There's a chapter, it's called a chapter of an, an, an am. He says that okay. those... Those Christians, those Jews, they are the same as Al An'am and, and worse, talking, which means yes. they are the same as animals and they are okay. even worse. What do you say about that? Yeah, the, uh, Allah talks about uh, kuffar as well. You know, He says the. What it doesn't he wants matter. To, I, to I thought this is hatred when you say to people like this. I thought this is hatred. Okay, yeah, Allah says that He, he hates. The, the kuffar, those who oppress at it. Your no? prophet, yes. he ordered to kill all the Christians, all the Jews. No, it's not all. No, never. Okay. Allah says that you only make, fight those you want... who fight you. Okay. Those who fight you and fight as long as they fight. Okay, okay? hold on. That's Re read, say, read the verse. Where it says like those who... Uh, read like read the verse. Read the verse. Where it okay, says... I... Those... Anyway, just go watch it. And this is how we should deal with them. Uh, I see that all Christians mostly... They are not really, uh, they don't learn and they don't listen to the advice. <clears throat> they invite Muslim first, you should not do five minutes for you, five minutes for me. This is a very stupid idea because in five minutes I can say 1,000 lie and nobody will check them. It have to be open conversation, both of them talking at the same time. Both of them are allowed to expose each other if they are making some lies. Otherwise, there's no debate. Never consider a debate something that is a moderator. Why we need a moderator anyway? I mean, this is even a stupid idea, moderator. What the heck is that? So those kind of so-called debate, it's a mockery of debates. It's a mockery of intelligence. It's a waste of time. It's a killing of knowledge. And nobody checking the fact. And then after we finish the debate, then we go and make a video about the video which is in the debate, to refute what he said. Why you don't say to, to him what he said when he was in the debate? You know what I mean? I mean, you were, sometimes even they are both in the stage, in the same stage. So why you don't say to him the answer when you were there? Oh, because there's five minutes for him, five minutes for me, and there's no enough time. What the heck? So don't accept five minutes for you, five minutes. Who is forcing you? Who is forcing you? You don't make them videos to explain what happened in the debate when it's you who was in the debate. You were there. And now you go to Perfect Dawah, he will see, he explained what happened with the Christian Prince. What happened with the Christian Prince? I made you shish kebab. Everybody noticed that you have no idea what I'm talking about. The video you are watching here, this is in the channel of Sheikh Omad. Sheikh Omad, by the way, is a Muslim, ex-Muslim, sorry. Uh, as he told me, I don't, I know, uh, 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 what he witnessed that he left Islam because of me, him, and his family. And he have tons of videos. Go watch it. I don't know if he's here now, or I'm not sure. Actually, his videos are very good because he's very. Uh, he have a. I can tell he have a talent for videos. You know, he have a, a lot of uh, uh, skills uh, making videos. Uh, like this video he made about the death of Suleiman. <laughs> this guy is really funny. Uh, you remember the story of the death of Suleiman? 
this is what some Christian, if they like to be affected, they can do because those they can be nice, funny, especially for youth. They watch them, they laugh, and they will see how stupid Islam is. Hello, Habibis. I am Suleiman, and this is my stick, and this is my story. And then we find that Suleiman, he died, and he died standing, holding a stick. And nobody noticed that he is dead. Why? Because of the stick. Those things happen all the time. I mean, think about it. If you are Suleiman, and you are holding a stick, that's why it's important to hold a stick with you. You know? So Suleiman, he died. <laughs> and he was holding a stick, and he was leaning on it. <laughs> and nobody noticed that he is dead. <laughs> For more than a year. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, Suleiman. Until the termite, they ate the stick. <laughs> the termite is talking to Suleiman Sheikh Omad. You see, did you see a termite? He make the he make a graphic for the termite. The termite is walking over the stick and she's saying assalamu alaikum. The termite they ate the stick. <laughs> I mean the guy he had many yeah, leaning on it. Nobody noticed that he is dead. For more than a year. Assalamu alaikum. Yeah, Until the termite they ate the stick. I mean, the guy, he have many wives, he have many, he's, he's a king, he have ministers, he have army, he have generals. They come to talk to the king every day. His wife, she come to their room and she say, honey, you want to eat? So then when he don't answer. Uh, honey, you want to go to the bathroom? He don't answer. The minister of defense, he come speak to the king, your highness. We have the army of the enemies approaching. Should we do anything? He didn't answer. One year the man is dead and nobody noticed that he is dead? Not to mention that your body will be... I mean, what happened to a body of a human being after a few days of death? After five minutes of death? The guy is standing and he's dead because he's holding a stake? <laughs> Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> so this is why, you know, we need to, uh, we need to change the way we debate with the Mohammedan because simply we don't debate with them. It, rarely you will find a decent one who is uh, giving answers and those answers are according to his belief. They lie, my friend. They lie. The same Muslim who give you an answer today about a question you, he gave him today, he will give different answer for the same question tomorrow with different person. They lie. And this is lawful in Islam. In Islam, there's something that's called taqiyya. And many people do not understand that it's very, very approved, encouraged to lie in Islam. Especially if you are talking to non-Muslims. This is called faith defending. Remember when uh, when this uh, better son, he made an interview with Sheikh Hamza? Sheikh Hamza, he said, there are six things that are important in Islam. Number one, to protect the religion. To protect the religion have you ever heard of somebody he believe in god and this god is true god he need to protect the religion of the true god well cannot the true god defend his religion how they defend it by lying to you and you will see here it says it clearly that a muslim he can speak to you in a friendly way as long he don't mean it he cannot take you as a friend he cannot be he cannot honor you he cannot be a friend to you. He cannot be sincere. The one who is sincere, the one who is sincere, who take non-Muslim as a friend, he is a hypocrite. Disbelievers are the friend. Seeking might and honor by taking the hypocrite and disbelievers as a friend. He has no connection with Allah. He has no honor. Mercy or protection, which means he is not a Muslim no more. He can be killed and his wife, she can be raped. All of this just because he took a Christian as a friend. And he mean it. So what do Muslims do? Many of you, they keep saying to me, I have a Muslim friend, I have a Muslim friend, I have a Muslim friend. And then I say, well, you, no, you don't have. And then they say, oh, you are teaching division now. He said, my friend, you are stupid. Muslims do not accept non-Muslims as a friend. I'm not saying to you, you cannot have him as a friend. I'm saying to you, he's lying to you. He is not your friend. 
This is his religion. Chapter 5, verse 51. Do you see this guy, Kadarov? Kadarov, who make videos in TikTok? According to Islam, he is not a Muslim. He's not a Muslim. Why? Because he take command from Putin. He carry a flag. Do you know what the sign of the, of the Russian army? A cross. In the top of his head, there's a cross. And the Quran make it clear that the one who take non-Muslim as leaders or even as a friends, he is not a Muslim, he is one of them. So this guy, he go, mashallah, smash Allah, alhamdulillah, bismillah, etc. And he make videos on TikTok and he sleep in his back like, like Mimi Hijab. And he's speaking about himself as he is like, you know, that's it, he is the top Muslim. But the Quran gave us a clear answer. What kind of a Muslim he is? He is not a Muslim. You do not even need interpretation for this verse. It's so clear. However, you can go and read any interpretation. A true Muslim, he don't pay tax to non-Muslims. A true Muslim, he does not accept non-Muslim as leaders, president, king. A true Muslim, he will not even live between them. A true Muslim, he will not even take them as a friend. A true Muslim, he can't be a helper. So when this guy, he fight under the command of Putin, and then he claim he go to Hajj, and he claim that he is a Muslim, but the Quran is so clear. Do you see it? All of them, they are just liars, hypocrites. One day, they decide to fight Russia. The Russian, they smashed them. They made them shish kebab. And now they made a puppy to be their president. A puppy. And this puppy, any Muslim in Chechenia, he tried to open his mouth, he killed him. A criminal. He have no religion. He have no God. But he is practicing Islam perfectly. Why? Because hypocrisy is Islam, and Islam is hypocrisy. And now he called Putin my 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 uh, my commander. Imagine you you claim to be a president of a of a country, and then you call Putin your commander, you coward. What kind of a president you are? <clears throat> do Shia go to Hajj? Yes, they go. But they go to Hajj not because they want to do Hajj. Mostly they go to Hajj so they can promote Shiaism. They take it as an advantage to do Dawah to Muslim Sunni. So they will leave the Sunni cult. They will leave the Bakri cult. You know? Uh, Anyway, I think we have enough for today. I hope you guys, you would download the video. I will leave it here for a few hours and then I will take it down as usual. So feel free to download, share. All my videos are made for free. Um, you can use them. You can um, put ads in the top of them. I'm not against people to make money from my videos. Why not? You know, uh, good for you. Uh, the, the purpose is at the end is just to promote the truth and the truth will set you free. Uh, some people, they take my videos just to make money. Some people, they take my videos because they love the truth and they love the Christ. Everyone will be questioned one day for what reason he do things. We might do the same thing, but everyone have his own reason. And you will be judged by your reasons, not only by what you do. There are some people, they open a church, but they are not really being Christian. They are just trying to do, to do business even though opening a church is something good, but the reason would count. Somebody might make a donation, but maybe to show off, to say he's good. You know, and they give donation in front of the people, says, listen, I donated to this guy, so everybody will see. So he claimed honor to himself. He claimed that he is a, a, a person who give, he is a good guy, you know? And those people, they have no blessing. So the act is good, the reason is bad. The Lord will act, you know, will ask you for your reasoning. The reason, my friend. Uh, what is your thought of the on MBS, Mohammed bin Salman? Uh, you know he is just a Middle Eastern dictator, criminal like the rest. The Middle East have to always to have to dictator because Islam is religion there, 
and Islamic countries cannot be ruled unless you have a dictator. As simple as that. And those Muslims actually they use Islam to 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 silence anyone who oppose them, because Islam is a perfect dictator religion. Muhammad was a dictator. Therefore, anyone who will be the caliphate after, he must be a dictator. One man power. One man opinion. Anyone disagree, he is a, either they call him infidel, kafir, kill him, or put him in jail forever. So he is just another criminal. And I believe he is needed because of the stupid American they try to have democracy in Saudi Arabia. This country will be burning like Iraq now. Look what they did in Iraq. They went to Iraq, they took Saddam Hussein, and they want to have democracy. They thought they, they, thought they are going to Germany. This American, they thought this is Germany. In this country, democracy doesn't work because the one who controls the ground is the sheikhs. Muslim, Shia, or Sunni doesn't matter. And democracy for them is just a game now. And killing will never stop, not even for a thousand years from now. They have a lot of gas, a lot of oil, and they are one of the poorest countries in the world. Why? Islam is the reason. And why? Because now there's too many, uh, too many in control. Too many, not only one. In Saudi Arabia, things are still stable because there's only one dictator. Go to Libya. They took al Qazafi away. Now we have many Qazafi. And the Libya and the country is divided. And they are killing each other and they will kill each other forever. Until America do something. Do invasion, force a president on them, or you have to wait. Look at Yemen. The same. Shia, Sunni, two presidents, five presidents, ministers, prime ministers. Everybody make himself a president or a minister. This country will never be a country again unless somebody force law on them. Somebody have a victory by sword, not by democracy. There's democracy does not exist there. Look at Syria. Look at Sudan. Look, 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 look. I mean, Western, they are just a bunch of dummies. They do not know what they are doing. And they think that if they believe in democracy, democracy is good for everybody. Democracy is not good for those countries as long as Islam is there. Before you implement democracy in a country, you have to make a person who believe in a human right, in a freedom of speech, freedom of belief, and then you can talk about democracy. So you take democracy to a country, people will kill you for making an article. People will kill you for making a post in Facebook. People will kill you for whatever reason, if you don't agree with them. And then you strip it, you want to make democracy? Western are coming from the cave time when it's come to understand what the Middle East is or what Islamic countries is. And not only that, Western government are all our hypocrites. This guy, he killed the person, he made him shish kebab in the embassy. The whole world knew about it. And now Biden is going to visit him. Why? Because they need him. Do you see how democracy country they change? If you are a country of value, then you don't shake hand with the criminal. Is he a criminal or not? So he's a criminal when you want, he is you know, like Erdogan. Erdogan, he is against Saudi Arabia. This, this uh, Salman is a criminal. He should be taken to international court, blah, blah, blah. Then Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia is rich and Turkey is bankrupt. The country is collapsing. So the Erdogan start kissing the, the, the ass of the, the prince of Emirat, the king of Saudi Arabia. Just do anything. Forget about Khashoggi. Who care? Okay, kill him as much as you want. That's it. Let us be friends. Just bring your money here, man. We are dying here. So they are hypocrite. All of them, they are liars. But the, li the lies have two faces. One in the name of democracy, which is in the West. You know, they want to replace the president of Syria because he is the dictator. But as, as of their friends in the Middle East, like the prince of Qatar, is not a dictator. The Prince of Qatar is the biggest supporter of terrorism. And Biden, he brought him to the White House just a few months ago and named Qatar as number one friend out of the NATO. But this is number one country who support terrorism. Two years ago, Trump, he went in the White House and he said, Qatar have to stop supporting terrorism or else. Two weeks after, the Qatar, they rented from, uh, from his uh, brother-in-law, a building, $1 billion deal to rent a building for 99 years. Since then, Trump, he never speak against Qatar. And now, actually, they found that the, the, the Saudi prince of, of uh, uh, Saudi Arabia, he invested $2 billion with the son-of-law of Trump. 
2 billion dollars Isn't it clear that this is a corruption? And then we find Joe Biden, his son is doing the same business. And then in the front of the world, we say we are, we are democracy and we, we fight corruption. And you know, we speak of Ukrainian are corrupted. And we speak about, uh, you know, Middle East is corrupt. And we speak, and then we find all the scumbag is here. Joe Biden, Trump is just two two coins, one coin actually, two faces. Two billion dollar with his son-in-law Trump, from the from the from the prince of Saudi Arabia, the crown prince. Why? What about investing with me, crown prince? Oh, you are not the you are not the son-in-law of Trump, right? So my friend, all those countries when you speak about politics. Vortex is the land of snakes. Vortex is a place for snakes, not for human. You can't do Vortex and you are a human. You have to be snake, the son of a snake. And you sneak around. You change your face, you change your color, you change your skin, depending on the situation. People who do Vortex, they have no friends. They are not trustworthy. They will use you and they will throw you to the dogs when they done with you. I hope I gave you my answer. Uh, no dignity, no, you know. And look, now this the Israeli, the enemy of Allah, suddenly they became the friends of Emirat. And now Saudi Arabia, they are they are making deals with the with the Israeli. What happened to the kuffar? What happened to the Jews, the enemies of Allah? Yeah, what we need them, you know. So yeah, this is what politics is. Islam is a politics. That's why Islam is a fraud. Islam is a politics. It's not a, Islam is not a religion. And by the way, I have a news. I have nothing to do with our topic. Uh, <clears throat> it's about Israel. The Israeli, they come with a new weapon. And this weapon will destroy many armies. Those people, they are really so smart. Before, when somebody throw a rocket at Israel, the Israeli army, they have a defense system. It's called the Doom. It's very costly to take missiles down. Guess what? Every missile now, they can take it down by the cost of $2. Welcome to Israel. And if, the, if this army can destroy a missile flying in so fast a speed, and it's from short distance, they aren't even a missile, they are like a, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, trashy one, which is very hard to track. How they can, how easy for them then is going to take down a drone. So this army become the most powerful army in the world. And now soon you will see everybody kissing their ass. Those who hate the Jews, the Arab, the Emirati, the Bahrain, please, can you, can we, they will not sell it to them, they will rent it maybe. It take two dollars for every missile. It's like, it's like a price of a, a price of a, a bullet. Two dollars, imagine, to take down a missile. This is Israel. And those are the kuffar who Allah, he cursed them. And now the drone of uh, USA will be taken down easy. The drone of the Russian or the toy of Erdogan, he think he have a drone. Everybody speaking about the drone of Turkey, you know, how, um, how, how strong it is. It's a, it's a garbage. It's a piece of shit. Excuse my language. Because you cannot even aim with it. There's no aiming. There's no targeting. It's just a toy. Uh, and the Russian actually they can take it down but because Ukraine is so big they cannot implement their system everywhere because they don't control everywhere so this is why they can be used even though like Ukraine they are using DJI DJI is a toy you can buy it from Amazon for a thousand dollar or even 800 but now with this they can destroy anything nothing can go through 
And imagine how fast it is. Because uh, Gaza is just a few meters away from Israel. They are in the borders. They are inside Israel, actually. So you don't have a time even to aim to find the, 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 the bomb. It takes a few seconds, maybe 15 seconds, that's it. And if you miss that point, then you cannot stop this bomb from coming to your town. So imagine how amazing the system is that they can locate this, this, uh, this machine, can locate, doesn't matter how many they are. They will send like 100 rockets in the same time. This system will track them, will take them one by one. And now you can imagine how many countries they want to be friend Israel just to get this weapon. And I'm sure that's right. They will, they will not sell it, but they can sell maybe, uh, they can maybe rent, you know, like uh, a version of it which nobody can take down or steal. <clears throat> uh, and I, I could not actually believe that it, to it cost $2. $2. Wow. Imagine you go and you buy a rocket, cost you $20,000. And then you, you throw it at the Israeli, and then the Israeli destroy it by, 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 uh, by paying $2. And the two dollars, by the way, is not a price of a bullet. It's just for the energy we'll generate using the laser, which means electricity. So in the future, this electricity can be for free. You know what I mean? They, they can make it maybe from the solar. You never know, you know, if the technology became more advanced. So this uh, system does not need to be hooked to electricity or battery or anything. Amazing. Oh, actually, when I saw it, that's really something, you know. And actually, I'm happy for the Israeli to have such a weapon. Uh, this is a news three hours ago. Israeli builds a laser weapon to zap threat out of the sky, from science fiction to facts in the air. Israel says, uh, etc. blah, 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 and let us see what it says about the cost. Uh, you, cannot, you cannot click, you have to click at the rest of the article. Anyway, you will find, you can search it. Two dollars, have fun. Iran will make a rocket, will cost them $500,000, the Israeli will destroy it with two dollars. How good is that? You know? You can't beat that. Anyway, with this, I want to say thank you guys for being here. Uh, we were planning to go and leave from a long time. You guys keep keeping me here. So don't forget to download the video. You can uh, cut it pieces and make it parts and let everybody laugh based on the topic. Share and do the good work you do not need invitation to subscribe to share to download to leave a comment to share your knowledge the one you learn here or the one you have without me because all of us we have knowledge but we are shy sometimes even to be part of a conversation because we are afraid that somebody will say oh he is one of those people who spread hatred we don't spread hatred we spread the truth and if, the, if we are in a time where the truth is called hatred, that is a blessing for us. We don't hate people. We don't hate Muslims. We hate lies. And we are here to expose lies. And to expose lies, you have to expose the liars who make the lies. That's what we do. Thank you. God bless you. And see you soon again. And I will wait until I see the review, how big the review is. So if you want me to come back fast, help us, you know. I'm not going to keep this video for long, but if I see after staying for many hours, I have only a few thousands, I will say to him, you know what? 
my eyes hurt honestly i bought i bought medicine my eyes hurt from looking at the screen for long and uh, they are burning from screen i will take a break if no if nobody need me if you guys don't need me to come back so fast i will take a break break is good all right so let me know based on your view based on your share based on your work we will make this again thank you very much and god bless you I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. 